Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Sunday of the second week of Advent, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. In today's Gospel reading, John the Baptist was preaching the coming of the kingdom of heaven, the coming of Christ. Matthew says that people from the whole region around the Jordan were coming to John to be baptized. John, known as the forerunner of Christ, chastises the Pharisees and Sadducees to repentance, to make a complete turnaround. For I tell you, John says to them, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe lies at the root of the trees. Some commentaries on this passage suggest that the stones and dust of the earth are the dust from which God created man and woman. Their reliance on Abraham as their father, then, is not to replace the coming of the Son of God. What are the tenuous beliefs I hold on to that keep me from an authentic relationship with God? Help me see clearly, Lord, my own over-reliance in what is not you, adherence to beliefs that fail to lead to you. I want to understand that the Pharisees and Sadducees are not so remote in world history that they are irrelevant. Help me learn from them that pride in my own particular path to holiness is a dead end, is sin, the chaff that you separate from the wheat. As John says of you, Lord, therefore every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. Guide me in keeping with Christ so that with one voice, with one another, I may glorify you. Jesus, as I receive you in the Eucharist today, let me give glory to your name. Be with me so that I can keep today holy. As the first reading beautifully describes the kingdom of heaven, fill me with the gift of your presence. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.